Well, Darren, you're the first through the door this summer here at the Braille Group Stadium. Tell us how you feel to be joining Leighton Orient. Yeah, delighted. It's a massive club in the division. Um, obviously, you've got the new manager coming in. Um, it's a club that wants to get out of the league. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a local club to me. I was born in Barking, so it's not too far. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm delighted to be here. And you worked with Kenny before at Swansea. Was he a big part of you coming in? Yeah, uh, Kenny signed me um, 15 years ago when I was at Swansea. Um, when I was 21 and I just left Fulham. And I spoke to Kenny when he first came in, come here and he said, do you like to bring me in here? And then from then it was a no-brainer. Um, uh, I knew what a club it was. It's a big club in this division, like I said, and it's something I want to be part of. And hopefully we can have a good season next year. Mm. And you had the, the conversations about the kind of aims for, for next season? Uh, no, I think we have that. Normally you have that in pre-season. Uh, you sit down with a squad and see what the aims are. But every season, I think in the club, you try and progress and try and do better than what you did last year. I think the club come 10th or 11th, I think, last year. Um, we want, I think the aim is probably to try and get in that playoffs. But I think we'll sit down in pre-season like you normally do. And then as a team and a squad, we'll uh, get our aims for the season. Mm. And Kenny's moved quickly to, to appoint you as club captain as well. Yeah. Must be a big nod towards your experience and your leadership capabilities. Yeah, obviously it's a big honour. It's a big club, um, even to play for the club. So if you're going to be club captain of the club, it's a massive honour. It's something that um, I'm, I'm proud of, uh, my family would be proud of. And it's something that um, I'll give my all and uh, make the Leighton Orient fans proud. Um, yeah, I'm delighted. And it's, it's a massive honour. And you move on from Charlton, so, you, so you're staying, I guess, fairly local, you're staying, staying in London and, like you say, stay, staying close to home. Yeah. What was that experience like at Charlton? And, and again, it must be uh, good for you to, to stay in the area. Yeah, uh, really enjoyed my time at Charlton. Uh, good club, massive club in the division again. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, I, even being honest, I didn't really want to leave uh, at the end of the season, but these things happen in football. Um, players and managers will move on, everyone will move on. And this is a new challenge for me. So. Obviously, a great time at Charlton, really enjoyed it. Uh, managed to get a, prom a promotion there in my first season, um, playing in the championship. Um, and I wish them all the best for, for next season. But this is my club now. Um, I want to be successful here, have a good time, and hopefully uh, uh, have a positive, uh, positive season next year. Mm. We were talking just a minute ago about no supporters in this season, how weird that's been. Mm. How much are you looking forward to, to keep playing out there and having supporters back? Yeah, the football's not the same without supporters. Supporters are massive, um, I think. Anyone who didn't respect football fans uh, for what they do, whether they're cheering, they're booing, um, it has an effect on players and it brings out the best in you. Um, we want the fans back. Um, I'm sure when this place is buzzing, it'd be a great atmosphere and uh, um, everyone's looking forward to the new season with the fans in there. Mm. You're obviously an experienced midfielder and we've yeah. seen you at a few teams in, in the Football League but and the Premier League. Um, but for, for those that may have not seen you, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, someone that gives their, gives their all. I, um, I want to be... I'm competitive, uh, I want to win um, and I want to be the best teammate I can be. There's no point in me trying to be an individual and try and do things by myself. I want to be the best team player I can be and help my team uh, try and win games. So um, there'll be ups and downs in the season, I'm sure. Uh, there always is in football. And uh, I want to be someone that uh, my teammates can rely on, um, someone that the fans uh, respect, that they give their all. And that's all. That's all. Uh, I think the fans ask for someone that gives their gives their all. Mm. You just mentioned the fans there. Finally, what would be your message to supporters ahead of the new season? Yeah, I can't wait to get to to meet you uh, for the new season. Um, it's exciting times. We've got a new manager. Hopefully, we can bring in some more players, um, and we can have a really good season. Um, like I said, it's it's important that the fans, the players, all stick together. There will be ups and downs throughout the season, in, in any season. But come May uh, next year, we if we in a good place, a better place and a better league than what we are this year, then that'd be great for everyone. Darren, thank you and a very warm welcome to Lake Norman. Cheers, thank you.